hello everyone so today I'm going to work on this part when I go to the inventory menu and if I click the primary weapon uh, here uh, if I click on one of these weapons the weapon will be applied to the character similarly the shield and then if I go back uh, to the lever you can see now my character has those weapons applied okay let me show again so here this time go to inventory go here select the great sword so we need to here actually fine tune our camera angles a little bit so we can better showcase all our weapons and everything but I just want to establish the basic flow of events here and the connections between the widgets and how they apply to the real world, uh, the game world. So yeah, that's what we are going to work on too. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description. And this is a part of this section RPG with Gameplay Ability System series. You can watch all these episodes as well in my channel. I'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description. And let's get back to today's tutorial. okay so this is what we have worked on for now here we have these buttons and if i click here i go to this uh weapon choices available option menu and here these buttons not doing anything for now and i can go back and i can press i and go back to the world so now the next step is i want to make those buttons do something maybe actually uh, make the character equip that weapon represented by the button so that's what I want to work on next all right so for that uh, right hand weapons this is the widget that we had that part so let's do something like this so here we are adding these inventory buttons that shows the weapons available and here I have this on click dispatch so I need to call a function on here in this right hand weapons widget I need to call a call an event from when I click the button and the button should say which button it is uh, that called this event so that I can determine which collectible class that I need to apply so to do that first let me go here and add a new variable button index and make it an integer and then here on this dispatch I'll add an input I'll set the quality index that also needs to be a integer and when I bind here call on dispatch I'll connect this okay now here after initializing this button I'll set button index so here I need to call uh, I need to set this button index with this value
like this okay and then uh, also I'll I need to uh, bind event to on click dispatch um, maybe before that we might have to unbind all events from on click dispatch because as I'm reusing these buttons maybe I may have some events that that are already bound to this button so I need to avoid that I'm not sure if that is even necessary but I'll do it anyway add a custom event on uh, button pressed now here let me promote this collectible classes to a variable and then from that I can get the relevant collectible based on this index and also I'll get a uh, character and get the ability system component and I can call give ability and activate once and now as the ability class I can pass this ability now let's see here go here and select the sword now you can see sword is applied here but it is not in the hand that's because in order to take it to the hand I need to press equip or I can mm, do this try activate abilities by tag make control game play tag container and here I have input weapon equip. Let's try this. That might work. See, it's working. Our camera is too close, so this angle is we need to modify that, but the system is working so. I can equip the shield as well and if I go back now my character has this both shield and sword let me modify the camera a bit so we have to do that in inventory widget inventory blueprint so just for now uh, I'll make this a bit longer maybe 2000 and this maybe minus 100 and I need to rotate this also a little bit okay all right let's see now okay The shield is also in the hand we can go back now here also you can see the character has both sword and shield and this is also as you can see too close so get back but we have the weapon and similarly let me try the great sword okay character has that 
and yeah here we have it now you may have noticed if I already have the great sword and if I press sword you can't apply that that's because um, we have some blocking elements blocking tags applied when we have the great sword that is something I want to address but maybe leave that for uh, another episode because here all I wanted to keep the focus on how to set up the connections between buttons and how to apply those uh, collectible abilities all right so thanks for watching next time we will work on those conflicts that we have uh, when and allow applying any weapon that we want and yeah see you in the next episode as always updated bullet files will be available for the download here in the bedroom page goodbye